Chocolate. So delicious, yet so temperamental. But it doesn't need to be that dramatic. I'm gonna show you how to make chocolate that looks like chocolate and not a pile of shit. This is Baking It Easy. I can't wink. So I'm gonna be making some decorative objects using chocolate. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to temper chocolate. But to temper chocolate, it involves a thing I'm not super good at, science. It involves a lot of raising the temperature and then dropping the temperature all to specific temperatures, which I don't know off the top of my head. But I have a little bit of a cheat to hopefully make it easier, and that's melting regular chocolate like I have right here, melting in here. And once it drops down to a certain temperature, I'm going to add some pre-tempered chocolate to, you know, strongly encourage the regular chocolate to do what this chocolate is doing. But the final result yields a very nice, shiny, glossy chocolate that holds its shape, it snaps really well, and it's going to be used to make decorative things for cakes, cupcakes, all of that stuff. I'm gonna let this cool down. If you use it while it's too hot, it's not gonna hold its shape. Made a mess. The first chocolate thing that I'm going to make is chocolate dipped truffles. So I just have store bought truffles here and I stuck them with chocolate onto a stick because everything's better on a stick. And this is my tempered chocolate. I'm going to use white chocolate and some pretty pinky chocolate, swirl it, dip it, and then we're gonna have these really pretty, like glammed up, leveled up chocolate dipped truffles. So into my tempered chocolate, I'm going to take some white chocolate and make a zigzag and then this way it's like really messy tic-tac-toe and now I'm going to cover all of that with the pink now I'm going to tap this onto the table to kind of set it and make them all mingle with each other and you have to do this quick otherwise it gets hard so I'm going to stick my truffle in right in the middle all the way down and then twist it as I pull it up <gasps> it's so pretty do I move it now is it gonna spill do we care okay no Ah! Don't make a dirty joke, don't make a dirty joke. It's cool, it's fine, it's fine. This isn't stressful at all. Oh my God, sometimes gravity just scares me, you know? Like, is it gonna work? And again, dunk and twist. Ah! Come on, Drippy, oop, oop. I need more hands. Pretty! Wow, I'm making a real big mess. And dip and twist. Oh my God, I should have my armpits. They're so pretty! Wow, they're so much different lengths and unevenness. I wanna to touch them so bad. I'm not going to. I will. So I'm gonna let these set up and then I'm going to move on to my next creation. <laughs> now I'm gonna move on to make my chocolate flower. And for that, I have my tempered chocolate agata ladle. I'm going to start by using the ladle and a little bit of chocolate. And I'm going to make a little dollop. Oh, it's not a straight dollop. That one's ugly, I'm gonna try again. Oh yeah, that's so much prettier. So this is the base of the flower, so if it's not perfect, it's okay, because I'm gonna cover it up with the petals. But then I'm going to take one of my chocolate truffles, and these I actually have frozen. So I'm dropping my truffle in there, covering it totally. Oh my gosh, it's so shiny. I can literally see my reflection in this. So now I'm gonna take my really shiny chocolate ball and place it on the center of my little chocolate dribble mound. I'm gonna cover it up with petals. It's gonna be fun. So as you can probably tell, I'm not a professional chocolatier. I'm not Willy Wonka, nor an Oompa Loompa. I'm like two Oompa Loompas stacked on top of each other, or maybe three, because I'm pretty tall. So this is actually something that is impressive and pretty, but it's not actually that hard to make. Maximum results, minimum effort. That's what I'm here for. So I'm gonna take a spoon and use this for my petals. And I'm going to take my ladle of chocolate and ladle into the spoon. Move really slowly and place it to dry. And again, I need more hands. Is this why there were so many Oompa Loompas? Yeah, you know, nice. I feel like I have like a dim future in chocolatiering. I finished my petals and now I'm going to put these in the freezer just until they set up. I'm back! Wow, did you miss me? That was like two seconds, so probably not. So now I'm moving on to making chocolate leaves. And for this, I have a baking sheet lined with a silk pad, an offset spatula, a la -la -la lollipop stick, and my tempered chocolate. And we're gonna get creative. This is art class, one of the few classes I was actually pretty good at in high school. 
I'm gonna start by ladling some chocolate right onto my Silpat. And now using my offset spatula, I'm going to, oh, smear it. Oh wow, this is satisfying. Oh my gosh, wow. Woo, so pretty. I am mesmerized, it is so shiny. I'm going to take my lollipop stick and I'm going to draw some leaves into this. We wanna make sure that there is a visible gap here because once this chills, we'll be able to pop it out. Now I'm also gonna use my offset spatula to create like a, that line, that like vein that goes through leaves. My gosh, it's a leaf! Not yet, but it will soon be. Right now it's just like a chocolate rain fat. So I'm making leaves because I'm using this with my flower, but really you can draw any shape that you want. Nice. Now that these are done, I'm going to pop them into the freezer to set up. So I've taken my spoons out of the freezer and now I'm going to assemble them all to go from spoons to a chocolate flower. So the first thing is starting with my base, which is this little dude. And then for my spoons to warm them and get them the chocolate off the spoon, I'm just gonna warm it up with my hand. Nice. And look, it's a little petal and it's shiny. Look at it. So I'm gonna use these petals and stick them to my truffle on its little pedestal plate. And I'm going to make them go all the way around and just more petals on the inside, on the outside, until eventually, so many petals, what do a ton of petals make? A flower. So to do that, I'm going to dip one side into some chocolate. So I'm going to put this right into the little crack in between the truffle and my pedestal. I'm gonna hold it there and if you are doing this in a place that's toasty, a little warm, a little hot, or you just want an excuse to use some really cold canned air, I'm going to spray this. How big is four inches? My God, science! Wow, I really would've paid attention in science if they made it with food, you know? You can go next, dip in the chocolate, sandwich on in, freeze! You've been caught red-handed. Oh my God. Okay, yes, the chocolate's cool, but also this is really cool. I feel like this looks really great already. Can you even tell that they were spoons? Don't say yes. We're pretending you can't even tell they were spoons. It's like they were destined to be petals all along. Spoons have just been like, stop using me for soup. I have bigger dreams. And here we're fulfilling their dreams. Dip, 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 dip. Cute. My favorite thing. So now that my chocolate flower is done and all of my chocolate decorations are done, I'm going to use them to decorate a cake. Previously on Megan Makes Chocolate, I made my beautiful flower, we've got my truffles on a stick, and my leaves. And finally, the cake that is really just the vehicle for my decorations. It's how I feel about like chips. It's a vehicle for guacamole. So I'm going to use buttercream to adhere stuff, but we're just gonna go crazy. I'm about to go buck wild. So I'm gonna start with my flower just cause it's the biggest thing. And I'm going to place him or her right here. Oh my gosh, so cute. It's like prom and a, a corsage boutonniere. Who started that tradition? Kind of weird. Now I'm going to add in some of my leaves. I'm gonna do some of my truffles. I was just like picking my favorite child. And I'm going to put them in at different heights. Create some levels. I'm gonna use my piping bag. It's like a Dr. Seuss chocolate forest. Cute chocolate. This is it, my finished product. I officially have tempered chocolate. Go me. <laughs> so the tips I remember when tempering chocolate, start with like a starter bit of tempered chocolate. That made it so much easier. Way less of like the science. I mean, it's still science, but less science, which is still a better form of science, because there's less of it. Another tip is making sure that we keep our chocolate cold, so whether that's putting it in the freezer to set up, or using the canned condensed air, which is a party and very fun. I hope you guys try this out. It's so much easier than even I thought it was going to be. So let us know if you do, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.